Auditorium here at Navy Pier. That's where Harold Washington will make his entrance. He's in the hall now, uh, although the uh, round of applause you hear is clearly for the outgoing mayor, Jane Byrne, uh, shaking hands with Cardinal Bernadine and other dignitaries, her husband Jay giving her a kiss as she arrives on the stage. A uh, very polite round of applause for the outgoing mayor. Uh, we expect the place uh, to get much louder in just a moment because the way they have uh, scheduled this is all of the honored guests are now at the dais. The other invited guests are in the audience. A police honor guard is formed down the center aisle of this rather large auditorium at Navy Pier. And uh, Harold Washington will make his entrance directly up that center aisle. Harold Washington and his fiance, Mary Ella Smith. Mary Ella Smith's mother Ladies is on the stage and had said to us earlier, when I see my daughter walking toward that stage, I'll be bursting with pride. The city treasurer and the city clerk are right behind Harold Washington and his fiance. At the back of the hall, I see some of my old colleagues, Bill Sager, Jimmy Houlihan, Mike Kalowinski. They're an interesting mixture of whites who are here today. One of your former colleagues back on the stage today, Anna Langford. Yes, she was a wonderful alderman when I was there, one of the outspoken black aldermen. We won her way back to the city council to carry on the activities she began there 16 years ago. Mayor-elect Harold Washington is now on the stage. with Mayor Byrne. Mayor Washington has a good sense of ceremony. I don't think you're going to see this rush very much. He's going to take the time that's appropriate to make the moment count. The theme of this inauguration is unity, and that is evidenced by the uh, medley of tunes that was played by the orchestra prior to the time we got on, got on the air when the audience was filing in. The medley included Hava Nagila, Besame Mucho, The A Train, When Irish Eyes Are Smiling, and Chicago My Home. They attempted to include most of the ethnic groups in Chicago, and there was probably even a Polish tune that I wouldn't have recognized. Our first item of business, remember this is a city council meeting, will be the call to order by Mayor Byrne. Now, Sergeant at Arms Mike Collada of the uh, Chicago City Council has already uh, presented Mayor Harold Washington with his gavel. It's a new gavel. There's a brass nameplate, uh, Mayor Washington's signature and name on it. Uh, Washington will hand the gavel uh, back to Collada. Collada will give the gavel to Mayor Byrne. It's now Harold Washington's gavel and Jane Byrne's last council meeting. The council will please come to order. Mr. Clerk, would you kindly call the roll? Rhodey, Rush, Here. Kenner, Here. Evans, Here. Bloom, Here. Sawyer, Here. Beavers, Here. Humes, Here. Hutchinson, Here. Fridoliak, Hules, Majerchik, Madrick, Here. Burke, Here. Brady, Here. Langford, Here. Streeter, Here. Callum, Here. Sheehan, Here. Kelly, Here. Sherman, Here. Stenberg, Here. Kristiniak, Here. Henry, Here. Marzullo, Narduli, Here. Wallace Davis, Here. Smith, Danny Davis, Hakopian, Santiago, Gabinski, Mel, Frost, Cutlars Jr., Banks, D'Amato, Cullerton, Lorino, O'Connor, Puchinski, Nateris, Oberman, Hansen, McLaughlin, Orbach, Schulter, Vellini, Orr, and Stone. There's a quorum present, Your Honor. Will everyone please rise and remain standing? May I present His Eminence, Joseph Cardinal Bernadine, who will give the invocation. Your Eminence. Let us pray. Standing here where water washes up onto sand, where man's ingenuity filled in water and made it shore, where technology transforms lake water, purifies it, filters it, and thus nourishes the people of this city, 
We praise you for the work of creation and our human calling to perfect that creation. We look outward and to the future with this lakefront and its vessels as a window to the world. We look inward and to the past, toward the mouth of the Chicago River, where our first permanent resident, John Baptiste du Sable, built the first log cabin home. Help us build on that past to a better future. Fill in what is empty or missing in our personal lives and our community life. Purify us as the waters of Lake Michigan are purified. A log cabin has been transformed into a skyline. Now turn our skyscrapers and bungalows, our apartments and condominiums into more than places of shelter. Let them be a home, a home enriched by the beauty of diverse people working together. Bless in a special way our new mayor, Harold Washington, elected by our people for our people. Grant him wisdom, guide his decisions. Let him, together with the other newly elected officials, feel our true support. When you created Lake Michigan, Lord, you made no small plans. You gave us a veritable ocean. As we stand here on a pier designed by Daniel Burnham, keep his spirit alive in our mayor and our citizens. Let us make no small plans. Lead us, we pray, to a city that merits, like the lake in front of us, a single adjective, a single descriptive word. Let Chicago indeed be great, great in its love, great in its care, great in compassion. Amen. Going to hear the oath of office administered to Harold Washington. Now place the gavel here, and I'd like to introduce the Honorable Charles E. Freeman, Judge of the Circuit Court of the State of Illinois. Judge Freeman. Charles Washington, would you please rise? raise your right hand and repeat after me. I, Harold Washington, do solemnly swear that I will support the Constitution of the United States. I, Harold Washington, do solemnly swear that I will support the Constitution of the United States. And the Constitution of the State of Illinois. And the Constitution of the State of Illinois. And that I will faithfully discharge the duties of the office of mayor of the city of Chicago. And that I will faithfully discharge the duties of the office of mayor of the city of Chicago. According to the best of my ability. According to the best of my ability. Congratulations, Mr. Mayor. Thank you.